Hi, welcome to part two of Charlotte's A Day to Night Makeup Tutorial. Okay, so when we left off, I was talking about different types of lipstick, which we will get into. But I'm also going to tell you, once again, the proper way to apply your mascara. Now, depending on the t what you want to portray, sexy, sultry, cute, adorable, whatever you would like, um, applying your mascara can make your eyes look wider, which would be in the center up, and then not even have to worry about the side here, and then uh, lately in the bottom, that would make you look more wide-eyed and innocent, more doe-like. Um, and then for sexy look, you would do off to the side and bring them out more so they look more like bedroom eyes, like, ooh, yeah, you want some of this, baby? And then put some on the bottom lightly, too. Putting mascara lightly, keyword, on the bottom of your eyelashes really helps make your eyes pop. I, you know, I always love doing it, but like I said before, I love mixing the two because I'm a famous cues type of person. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. And we don't really need to put a whole lot more on because we had some on earlier from the uh, normal makeup, so, or natural, so. Towards your eye. And out. Really helps when you go back and forth and then out. I don't know. Always turn it. If you really, really concentrate, you can do mascara without looking in a mirror. I know I had to do it without looking in a mirror because I used to be in a drama, a drama club um, before I even came to Waterford Mount High School. And uh, we always had to fight over the mirrors, which sucked so bad. So I was like, you know what? Watch me girl. So. For a night look, you could put it darker on the bottom. And the reason why a lot of girls go do that very nasty looking face whenever we're applying mascara is because it naturally stretches out your face, stretches out your face so that it doesn't at the bottom here. I don't know. It's, we're very keen on that type of thing. It's pretty great. Alright. Now for lipstick. I, for one, think lipstick is fabulous. I never get uh, to wear it that much. But I really like it. And, uh, yeah. So I got this one. This is Red Revival from Maybelline. Maybelline has fantastic lipstick. It goes on smooth and beautiful, and it does not dry out your lips, but you always want to make sure that you put um, chapstick on before any type of lipstick, so make sure you put that on. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Red Revival, I almost said Red Fever, it reminds me of Josie Katan singing. Neither yeah. making love to that microphone. Now, different ways that you apply your lipstick also show how you're feeling. Which is really bizarre if you think about it. But I have really odd shaped lips, so um right here is called your Cupid's bow, where it goes and then meets right here. And um I always have to make it so that those are pointy, otherwise my lips look like I have no upper lip. So that's what I'm going to do here. I always start there. So I look like a fruiter, yes, but it will look okay. Now I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put it all the way down, tracing my upper lip, doing the entire upper lip. Okay. 
A lot of people do that. It's a habit. Then taking it, always do right here first. So it's darker, then it blends. Naturally, when you follow the normal outline of your lips, it looks more sultry. But if you really want to make your lips look puckered, take your pinkies, pinkies work fast, and do this. Uh, your fingers, index fingers, so that there's more right here in the front of your mouth. Um, it gives your face more shape, or er, your lips more shape, and they look fuller. Um, also, when using chapstick, if you use chapstick before you apply lipstick, it plumps your lips more. Uh, because it's adding moisture. Like, when you feel fat on a rainy day, because your skin is <laughs> sucking up the water and the air, which sounds kind of stupid, but you know, that happens. Alright, well that's pretty much that. Um, other than that, you can do, you know, maybe you put on a little more rouge or blush. You know, and then you just pull your hair down, do your hair, just shake it out, baby. Yeah, I got and catch yourself some cute little honey, girl.